What's the cause of all pain? The cause of all pain are, are energies, if we can call them that, that may or may not be in motion, okay. that are out of harmony with God's love and God's truth. Right. Now, when I use the term energy, I'm being very loose in my expression because yeah. they take the form of energy that motivates us to action. Uh -huh. They take the form of emotion, yeah. feelings. Yeah. They take the form of even thoughts, which are energies that have come from uh, emotional Emotion. feelings triggered now into thoughts. Yeah. And they take also the form of beliefs. So, so any thought, feeling, emotion or belief action. or action yeah. that's out of harmony with God's love and truth will create pain. Mm -hmm. It will create pain the instant that it occurs. And it doesn't matter, it, it can be a very minor thing that you might have done out of harmony with love and truth. There will be a minor pain <laughs> caused as a result. If it's a major thing you've done out of harmony with God's love and truth, then there'll be a major pain result. Now, unfortunately, most people are not sensitive to that uh, because they're already in suppression and denial and uh, resistance to any pain. And we can detune ourselves from the sensitivity to pain. So there's probably this secondary aspect that we need to talk about with regard to the question, and that is allowing ourselves to be sensitive to pain. You see, pain is our feedback mechanism that something's wrong. So the more sensitive we allow ourselves to be to our pain, the, the higher a likelihood there will be that we won't repeat the action, thought, or let's call it the energy yes. that was out of harmony with love and truth that created the pain. Mm -hmm. So, so we need to understand that whenever we take action to suppress our pain, we are also taking a secondary action to become less sensitive to pain. And eventually, most adults become almost completely desensitized to pain. Yeah. And when we become desensitized to pain, we are now going to find it very, very, very difficult, firstly, to be sensitive to the feedback mechanism of what God's telling us that's out of harmony with love and truth. And secondly, we're going to find it very, very difficult to release any pain. Mm. <laughs> so we're really causing a lot of problems for our soul by desensitizing ourselves to pain. So we meet a lot of people who are very proud of their desensitized state. And yet it's a very, very damaged state, actually, yeah. that causes a lot of difficulty in the long term and, and also causes long term suffering. Once we have desensitized ourselves to pain, we are basically desensitizing ourselves to the feedback mechanism God has provided to tell us that we're out of harmony with love and truth. Mm. And this is why most people on the planet have no idea when they're out of harmony with love and truth. Yeah. Because most of the time they're not feeling the pain that is immediately created. And it's only when the pain that's immediately created gets to such a crescendo mm. in terms of a feeling that it's that we can't but help to feel it that we notice it yeah and that's sad because we could have felt it a lot more so a lot sooner we could have felt it when it was a lot lower in its mm. intensity but unfortunately most people have to f only feel only allow themselves to feel pain once it's in really incredible intensities and the same applies to many spirits they usually continue to do destructive things out of harmony with God's love and truth until the physical pain from the actual experience has increased to such a level that now they cannot ignore it anymore and none of the tools that they're using allow them to ignore it. Yeah. And once we get to that stage, that's when we start feeling our pain and trying to do something about it. And this is why most people do not do anything about their emotional pain until they have a physical illness or disease that causes them to feel extreme amounts of pain. Yeah, or limits their um, physical freedom in some way, physical Correct. independence in yes. some way. Yeah. But it's mostly the pain that triggers it. Yeah. Even when they're limited in, in, in their independence, it rarely, if ever, causes them to change. Yeah. It's only when they feel extreme amounts of pain <laughs> that they start to change, generally. Yeah. And even then, many don't. Like, so, so there are many smokers who contract lung cancer, and even while they've got lung cancer, they still continue to smoke. This is an indication of somebody who's in complete denial of the pain, even, 
they're in extreme amounts of pain and yet they're still in complete denial of the cause of it. Yeah. They, they, even though it's well recognised in that example that I've given yeah. what the cause is, they're in complete denial of its cause and they'd rather the temporary pleasure of taking the cigarette yeah. <laughs> rather than ex uh, uh, let the re release the, the pain that could result in their health being improved in a longer life. Yeah. So we're, we're quite amazing like that as individuals. We, we go to great lengths to avoid pain. We do, and yet going back to what you said at the beginning, uh, you said that it's, uh, pain's created by any action, thought, emotion or belief. Or any energy, if we sum all that up. Energy, yep. yep. That is out of harmony with God's truth. And in that we could say it's used to suppress God's truth and love, deny it, substitute for it. It's anything to, you know, be separate from that, from yes. God's truth and love. Yep. Um, and you're saying any time we have any energy that's creating, uh, that's out of harmony with those things, that is creating in that moment some pain. Yes. And most of us are not... Sometimes so, we feel it, you know, so, yeah. so we might cry for a little bit and feel some of it. But, but generally most people don't even do that. Yeah. Sometimes most of, my, what most people revert to is complete denial of it or complete suppression. Mm. Mm. And so that pain is created immediately mm. and yet most of us live desensitised to it Correct. until it becomes extreme. Yes. And from what you're saying, if we were sensitive to it from the beginning... Um, you wouldn't even be able to engage in the act if you were sensitive to it from the beginning. So the key is allowing yourself to be as sensitive as possible mm. to all pain, mm. emotion, particularly emotional pain, but all pain, because emotional pain, remember, comes from the soul. It's energy in motion. So it's the energy system inside of the soul. That's the pain you want to be the sens most sensitive to if you can be, because then you won't have any physical pain. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you're sensitive to that emotional pain and you release it, no physical pain will actually appear in your body. Yep. Most of us are raised to be pretty desensitised to our pain, aren't we? We're taught that that's taught good, yes. that that's brave, that that's tough, that that's yep. strong. There's and so many social beliefs that cause us, and you know, usually family-based beliefs, that cause us to desensitise to our pain, that everyone's proud of desensitising to their pain, which is being pro basically being proud about creating further future suffering. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's very, very negative uh, mm. to be proud about, you know, desensitivity to pain. Yeah. But most people are like that because, that they, you know, there's all sorts of ego-based issues involved with that. Yeah. When I say ego-based, pride-based issues involved with wanting to make out that you're experiencing no pain when you really are. And the key is to allow yourself to experience the emotional pain. Because when you experience the emotional pain, the physical pain is far less. Mm. And that's a direct result of allowing the emotional pain to flow. The energy flowing in the soul, turning it into an emotion. So that locked up energy that might have began there, turning it into emotion by allowing its flow, causes a relief of the soul yeah. and a relief of the soul's pain. And once that occurs, we have the subsequent flow on benefits to our spiritual and physical bodies. Okay, thank you. Pleasure. <laughs>